Hey, my name is Ryan League. I am an author and speaker from Dallas, Texas. And the verse of the day is Proverbs 18, verse 10. It says this, says the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Whenever you find yourself going through a tough time, what's your go-to move? Where do you run first? Some run to social media. Scrolling allows them to sort of zone out. Some run to work. It's their release. They throw themselves into work projects because sometimes they don't want to face their personal problems. Some run to harmful substances and perhaps fall into habits that can be destructive to their future. Some run to a trusted friend, someone they can confide in that could perhaps empathize with their trial. Well, whether or not our go-to move or the place we run is a healthy option or not, I just have to wonder what would happen in our life if God was where we ran first. One day I was going through some stuff, and so I, I called my wife. She didn't answer. Called my brothers. They didn't answer. I called my mama. She didn't answer. I called four or five of my closest friends. None of these people answered their phone inside the same hour in the middle of the day. I started trying to guess what everyone was so busy doing that they couldn't answer my phone call. Like, you ever tried calling a friend? They ignore your call, and then you see them post something on social media. You're like... Your phone clearly works. I'm like, where's everybody at? I went to try and call another friend. And in that moment, I felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit just say, hey, I'm available. How many outgoing phone calls are you going to make before you turn to where you should have called first? The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. I don't know where you might consider running today. I don't know who in your life you might consider calling to help you, but I have to encourage us to consider what it would look like to make the name of the Lord the first name we call on in every trial, in every circumstance. That's what I want you to think about today.